Hey guys, uh, I'm here at Amelia Island as a guest of Mercedes-Benz. Flew out yesterday and it's really like a busman's holiday. I'm not working, I have no clients, I have no obligations. Just to really wander around and look at beautiful cars. I mean, the minute you walk out of the door, you see cars like this that, I mean, one of my favorite Ferraris ever. So they have all sorts of categories here out on the field because, I mean, there's just so much to see. Let's just go and do it. Look at this, down here is some of my favorite people in the world have been signing autographs with their new book. We have John Fitzpatrick here, who has Fitz, his life at the wheel, and, ah. and behind it. We have Hurley, this book, massive bestseller. Hurley. And normally David Hobbs, who obviously either sold out, but look, he didn't, I'm gonna put this up. Hobbo. Motor racer, motor mouth, and I wrote, I wrote that, if not to sleep. Okay, let's go and see what we can find. So right now, we are looking at where all the judges hang out, and this is where the cars drive up and do their thing, drive in front. I can see over there, there's Ian doing his thing, lead designer for Jaguar, looking very smart. Um, all these beautiful cars, it's actually a, this is where all the beautiful people hang out. Well, I don't know if they're beautiful, but their cars are beautiful and they're looking at them. And there's all the trophies. No, I'm not gonna say that, but I need to see your past. Oh, you do? I okay. See oh, you see, that's as good as anything. Well, there you are. Now that I saw now you pass, you they pass me. We all need security like this. How are you? Good, Ian. <laughs> are you having a good time? Did you I judge am, with going, accomplishment? I'm going to go out any second though. Are you? This is what happens is the judges, luminaries such as Ian here, lead designer for Jaguar, uh, will now go and present an award. We can actually watch it happening. One of the fastest men ever. Johnny Rutherford. The man that told me to leave Indianapolis before I killed myself. No, no, no. You actually kind of did. And I took your advice. And you remember, do you remember I was there in that Tempro Jufri oh, awful yeah, thing yeah, in 96? That, that's, that was what I told you. And told you, told me, you told me, don't, don't just drive do it. not drive it. Yeah. I've never been so scared in my life, just so you know. <laughs> it was horrible, wasn't it? This is like the false grid of talent. We rushed to wait our oh. life. I know. The Clark Gable said, you don't pay me to act, you pay me to wait. Jaguar Land Rover. Ian, are you here? So that was where all the fancy judging goes on, but this is what they're judging. Just take a look across there. That throng of humanity and priceless cars is where we're about to go. Okay, well, in the Ferrari old race car category, this Dino 1959 is my favorite. Just look how absolutely stunning that is. Can you imagine? doing battle, holding onto that little wheel there. Oh, those are the gauges you want to stare at, aren't they? And it did win something, look. So old 1950s Mercedes. As I said, I'm here with Mercedes and they certainly bought some absolutely incredible we cars. Have a Tony Holman it's obviously won a lot. Here next. 300 SC Coupe. Presented by none other than three time Indian. 58, 300 Richard SL. Johnny Rowe. But that is just so beautiful. Rob Dyson. He's driving the car that. One day, everybody, I will own one of these. I think if you're lucky enough to own one of those, it may be one of the most stylish cars, one of the most romantic cars ever built. Can you imagine while everyone else is just getting to grips with the automobile and someone comes tearing down the road in one of these? Look at that.
sideways. That's pretty cool. Rob Dyson driving the next day with Bob's Indy car. Don't see that every day. There's a lot of steam cars and pre-war cars, but that's not really my thing. And perhaps the biggest crowd pleaser of the whole event, which is just showing the power of the movies, especially Steve McQueen. Um, my friends at Agatha have done this really cool display here because that is the original car from Bullet, complete with patina and bumps and scratches. Can you imagine owning that car? Okay, now I thought the bullet car was cool, but maybe, or arguably, the living master of cool is Emerson Fittipaldi, and he is uh, the honoree this weekend, and they have some incredible cars of him. There's the car he started in. But this, this, my friends, is the car. The 1975 McLaren that actually, and this car is very special. Uh, it also was driven by James Hunt and Joachim Mass, who I had dinner with last night. But um, it also appeared in Ron Howard's movie, Rush. But I gotta say the reason that it's that bright orange color is back in the day, they couldn't really get the color balance right on the TV. And so what they did was uh, make it super neon-y bright orange. And we all remember that. That's, I think, why we all love Formula One, is because of these cars, this era. Uh, that is just outrageous. Have a look inside. That's all he was working with. Right there. James Hunt's hands went on there. His backside went there. And his feet went all the way down in there. Okay. That's as cool as it gets. Now we all have moments from our childhood, memories of watching races, uh, liveries, designs that caught your eye, that made you uh, sort of fall in love with the sport. And obviously, the Fittipaldi Formula One car is part of it. The Rothmans Porsche for me, uh, with my dad driving, but the JPS, Lotus paint scheme. That was a poster that I had as a child. And here it is, 1970. So flipping cool. I actually had one of those stickers somehow when I was a kid. Look at that. Fuel it's just so sort of films seems so agricultural now. Okay. Okay, this car. Uh, is significant for all so many reasons. This was actually the car that Emerson Fittipaldi won his first Grand Prix in, in 1970, October, the US Grand Prix. So this is probably one of the most valuable chassis uh, from that era around. Look at it. Prove that they give tickets to absolutely anyone. Are you judging? I've been trying to so practice, I've been trying to cultivate non-judgment in my life. And now you're and now a judge. You want me to judge. Judge, 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 judge. So <laughs> judging things that are beyond judgment. But in all seriousness, how do you tell how one you of those think? owners or one of those um, 962s or whatever that theirs isn't as good as the other? No. By being judgmental. By being judgmental. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh sir, there's a there's a blade of grass under your tire. Bad luck. <laughs> yeah. I know you spent three million dollars restoring it, but <laughs> But we're on a lawn. Nothing to do with it. It's giving me all kinds of stress. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, oh. How much martini is enough martini? Well, when it comes to their race cars and 
the beautiful legacy that they left on the history of motorsport, both on road and rally, there is no such thing as too much martini. So let's have a quick walkthrough. I guess it's no surprise, but as I get older, I'm getting more enamored by the sports cars that my dad drove, the era from the 80s into the 90s. I just think they represented sort of the pinnacle of power and performance and everything. Anyway, there's some good ones behind me. Well reminiscing time here. 956, 962s are kind of the family thing. My first, my, my first Le Mans was in a 962 in 1992 with my dad. I haven't seen this before. Have you? Let's uh, check it out. Do you know what that is? That is a 365 GTB4, and they called it a Daytona, but actually they modified it into a station wagon. Oh my goodness. I'm not sure whether that was, that was probably the bravest or the most stupid thing ever done in history, but I guess now people are saying it's beautiful but I bet look at that just look in there now there's your station wagon I bet whoever customized that back at the day couldn't sell that for love or money at the time after all it's like an aberration really but now it's cool well, that's it. A really quick lap of Amelia Island. There is so much more I could have shown you, but really, I only had time to show you the highlights, the well, things that really caught my eye walking around earlier. Um, thanks to Bill Warner and everyone for creating the event, and especially thanks to Mercedes for inviting me along. It's just amazing. Great cars, cool people, incredible friends, and now it's uh, apparently it's cocktail time, so I need to go.